In this video, we will learn IC74138 as a decoder. Here I have shown the pin diagram of an IC74138. It is a 16 pin IC and uh, pin number 1, 2, 3, these are the input pins. These are the input pins. And pin number 4, 5 and 6 are the enable inputs. The enable inputs uh, tells us that the decoder will be functional only when you apply a proper input to the pins 4, 5 and 6. So what, what value must be applied at the pins 4, 5, 6? Uh, we'll see with the help of a data sheet. We'll open the data sheet here. Show data sheet and search for an IC74138. So it is a decoder IC. Show the data sheet. So here also a pin diagram is given in the data sheet. See, pin number 4, 5, 6 are the enable inputs. Pin number 4, 5 are the bubble indicates that these are the active low enable inputs. That means at pin number 4 and 5, 0 must be applied in order to make the decoder functional. And pin number 6 is an active high enable input. That means it must be connected to 1. Pin number 7 is output. Again, it is an active high output and pin number 8 must be connected to ground. Similarly, pin number 9 to 15, pin number 9 to 15, these are the output pins, but they are the active low output pins. These are the active low output pins. And pin number 16 must be connected to VCC. Okay, pin number, uh, as I told, pin number 4 and pin number 5 are the active low enable inputs and pin number 6 is the active high enable input. So here uh, there are 8 outputs uh, from 0 to 7. The corresponding pin numbers are noted down here. That is from pin number 9 to 15. They are Y6 to Y0. And pin number 7 is a Y7 bar. Okay. This is a data sheet. And now we'll see the functional table of an IC74138. Uh, this is a functional table. Uh, if we see the functional table, the inputs are C, B and A. So that is pin number, pin number 1, 2, 3 are the inputs. Pin number 1, 2, 3 are the inputs. And pin number 3 is C. This is the MSB for the input. This is the MSP. Okay, so accordingly in the functional table, C is our MSB and A is a LSB. If we see the functional table G1, G1 is a active high enable input. It must be connected to 1 and G2A and G2B. G2A and G2B are the active low enable input that they must be connected to 0. So here G2 star is G2A plus G2B. Okay, now here suppose if 0, 0 is applied on the input line, then Y0 will be 0 and remaining outputs will be high because uh, this decoder gives a active low output. That means when you are applying, when you are applying, suppose you have applied double zero one. That means what you have applied here, MSB C, C, 
B A. So what kind of a input you have applied? You have applied one double zero. Okay, one double zero means which output line will be activated? The output will be it is a low output that means y4 will be low this y4 will be low and remaining outputs are high level see in the data sheet for 100 that means this one h l l h means 1 l means 0 again l means 0 for 100 so y4 will be low and remaining are nothing but high outputs Similarly, you can apply any combination of the input and you will get the corresponding output. Okay, we'll check the functionality of and this particular IC using a trainer kit. Okay, you just click on add IC, select the IC base. Suppose I am selecting IC base 1. Now you select the IC 74138. This is the IC add ic so the ic is placed on the base of the trainer kit now pin number 1 to 8 and pin number 9 to 16 we will make the connection for the ground and the vcc okay see here in the pin diagram in the pin diagram Pin number 8 is a ground and pin number 16 is a VCC. Let us make the connection for the ground and the VCC. Okay, pin number 8 just connected to ground and pin number 16 must be connected to VCC. Okay, so I have made the connection for ground and VCC. Now you make the connection for enable inputs to make the decoder functional. So, pin number 4 and 5, they are the active low enable inputs and pin number 6 is a active high. So, what you do is, pin number 4, pin number 4 you connect here on the input section, pin number 5 also connect on the input section. We know that these are the active low. So, apply 0 or for these particular pins and pin number 6 is active high so you apply one here okay i have applied one so this indicates you are applying zero and this one indicates you are applying one okay now you make the connection for the inputs inputs are pin number one two and three and in that pin number three is a msb so what you do you first make a connection for the msb pin number three is a msb make the connection make the connection here that is connected to zero this is my msb and pin number two you just connect here and lsb is connected to the pin number two so c b a these are the input these are the inputs so i have connected them in the input section similarly you make the connection for the output also so what we'll do is we will make connection first for y0 so if you see y0 y0 is what pin number 15 y1 pin number 14 and like this and y7 is nothing but a pin number 7 so we'll make the connection for y0 so y0 i'll connect in the output section this is my y1 y1 you just connect here this is y2 connected to the pin number uh, connected to uh, pin number connect pin number 17 is connected here in the output section and this is y3 okay and this is y4 you just make the connection this is y5 and this is y6 and similarly make the connection for y7 Okay, once you made uh, the connections for the ground, VCC, input connections are made, enable connections are made and output connections are also made. Just apply the power to the circuit. Okay, power is applied. So, if we see the uh, connection on the input section, if we see the values on the input section, 
zero is applied uh, to all the inputs that means you are applying zero on the input line zero means y zero must be act active low output so this line is nothing but the y zero which is zero here okay now apply the power zero when there is a zero on the input section when you applied a zero to the input line y zero will be a active low output so only y zero will be activated so when you apply zero one y one will be a active low see here this is led is off here okay similarly when you apply y two so y two line will be active low output and for y3 if you can see this is y3 and we will apply y4 similarly when you apply y7 so y7 will be activated so this is how you can verify the functionality of an ic using the trainer kit okay in the next video lecture we'll see how to implement the full adder function using ic 74138 thank you